Hi, this is Renetta Griffin with Iron Disorders Institute and GetYourIronUp.com and welcome to another segment of the Anemia Red Flag Diaries. Today I wanted to talk to you about iron bullies and iron buddies. I didn't realize until recently that I had a lot of iron bullies in my life. I am a southern girl and I love sweet tea and everybody in the south drinks iced tea, sweet or unsweetened. And I recently heard that tea and coffee are not a good idea if you're, you have iron deficiency anemia. And I just assumed that it was because of the caffeine. Because when my iron is low, one of my red flags is irregular heartbeat or racing or pounding heart after doing simple activities like climbing a flight of stairs. And I just assumed that it was the caffeine. And at one point, before I understood this fully, I cut out all caffeine because of the symptoms that I was experiencing, not realizing that my symptoms were due to iron deficiency anemia. Well, when I finally stopped drinking all caffeine, I literally crashed. I landed on the sofa for about three days, and um, after my husband had to take over all the household duties and taking care of our two boys, he sat down and he said, we've got to do something you're obviously very sick, what is going on? And we ended up at a, um, an emergency medical 24-hour uh, facility and they checked my blood and my hemoglobin was at rock bottom and so was my ferritin, my iron level. Well, what I finally realized is that the caffeine in all that tea that I was drinking, and I'm talking many, many glasses a day, the caffeine was the only thing keeping me going because I was so low because of the anemia. Well, the caffeine was keeping me going and probably ca causing some heart palpitations, but the tannin in the tea was blocking my absorption of iron. So what little bit of iron I was taking in in my diet or with iron supplements, the tannin in the tea was putting up a barrier. It was acting as a bully, an iron bully, against the iron that I was consuming. So there was no way that it was going to get through and get into my bloodstream and help my blood cell, my red blood cells to produce the oxygen that they needed to get to my major organs like my heart. So I started learning and educating myself about the things that are good and bad for me in my diet. Iron buddies, the things that help you absorb iron. One of the major things is vitamin C. So if you take an iron supplement, or you are eating an iron-rich meal, it's a great idea to drink tomato juice or orange juice, or maybe to have a citrus vinaigrette on your salad, um, on your spinach salad, because leafy greens are also high in iron. So many people have cut out red meat from their diets, and I understand it's for different reasons, to become vegan or to, to, to try to have a healthier diet, but it's a really, really bad idea if you have iron deficiency anemia because in red meats we find heme iron, which is basically blood-based iron, and it's not found in any other food source. So if you can include red meats in your diet, lean red meats, it's a wonderful, wonderful idea, and it's one of the best ways to get your iron up over a gradual period of time. Other things that you can include in your diet, as I said, are leafy greens, um, foods that contain vitamin C. Those things are going to help your, they're going to enhance your absorption of iron. They're going to help that iron make it to where it needs to, go, to get to. Um, iron bullies, dairy products, calcium is a huge iron bully. It is not going to let the iron get through. So if you take a calcium supplement or you drink a lot of milk, or you are a big fan of yogurt. You don't want to consume it when you're taking your iron supplements or when you're having your iron-rich meal. So when you sit down for that nice steak dinner, you may want to go a little easy on the butter and the sour cream on your baked potato. Or you may not want to have a creamy, um, dairy-based um, beverage or salad dressing with your meal. You want to avoid calcium when you're consuming your iron. Another thing is fiber, and that's very surprising to me. Fiber can block iron absorption. So can eggs. 
Antacids. If you take a prescription or over-the-counter antacid for indigestion or a proton pump inhibitor for um, acid reflux, that can block your absorption of iron with your supplements and with your, um, with your diet. So think about these iron buddies and iron bullies, and especially tea and coffee. And, and think about those when you are planning your meal for the day, your meals for the day, or planning your shopping list, or going out to dinner. And it doesn't mean that you have to cut it out completely. You can't, um, it's not that you can't have coffee and tea ever again. But you just need to think about it and try to have your iron-rich meal every day and leave those buddies out of the way. Join us for another segment soon. Get your iron up and stay healthy.